Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and I just did a review on how Verizon, I believe, is throttling Netflix, and I mentioned in the video that I don't think they were doing YouTube. I think I did. Uh, I thought that anyway, and then I started looking into it, and I was like, wait a minute, they're doing, uh, it's happening to YouTube just like um, uh, Netflix is doing. So let's figure out how you can go and check it for yourself, and please Feel free to leave your speeds in the comments below. If anyone on a mobile device is actually reaching uh, a higher amount, a high amount enough to, to actually be able to play 4K content back again, uh, that'll be impressive in, in my eyes. But uh, this is what you got to do. Uh, regardless of carrier, I'm Verizon. And just to let you know if you haven't watched my other video, I called Verizon directly talked to someone in customer service and finally got to IT and they said they do not throttle anything. Verizon's put out a statement saying they will never throttle anything as of this moment because of the net neutrality concerns and leaving net neutrality. They wanted to make it clear that they're not throttling anything, period. Okay, And you got to make sure that your plan calls for pure unthrottled data because sometimes a plan will be like yeah it's good up until x amount then you know they'll slow you down i have complete authorized uh open data unlimited so nothing ever should be throttled on my account uh, you may be different like i said but go into the youtube app itself and i'll explain how to do this just so i leave some of my personal information out of it that would be on the screen oh so, to your settings menu and you'll get to that by going to your account it'll be the round your logo up at the top right so click into that and then go into settings go into general and I do believe enable stats for nerds is at the bottom so you will want to click that on then just type in 4k video and search a 4k video that you know is 4k play that and whenever you go into the video, click the three dots up in the top right corner, and then you can see Stats for Nerds down there. Select that. Uh, hold the phone. I found that if you hold it in landscape mode like that, uh, you can hit play, and it will uh, tell you what your megabits per second is, and I'm only getting four. And that's kind of exactly what I was getting for my Netflix through Verizon was four. So I don't know if it's a streaming media thing on Verizon's side where they want to throttle all streaming media services or the big streaming media services down to a certain amount or something like that and maybe a regional thing um, because there are some different numbers coming back in the comments of the other video, which I'll leave a link to at the end of this video, by the way, to go check that out. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, you'll see a whole host of stats across there, but the one you want to look for is bandwidth. And then right out to the side of that, you'll see your... Uh, active real-time bandwidth for that video uh, that you're watching and it's probably going to be less than speedtest.net so then you'll get the speedtest.net app itself open it look at it that'll show you your true data and I do want to do one test also is switch over to Wi-Fi like when you get home or in a trusted place switch over to Wi-Fi uh, do a speed test on it my current bandwidth through Wi-Fi is 61 megabyte bits per second and does that match my uh, speed test? Let's see, I'm running the speed test right now. Yeah, I'm getting, I don't know if you can see that climbing up top there, you can see that it's getting 90. Uh, it'll probably get close to 100 on the speed test app there, uh, megabits per second. And like I said, for the application I'm getting real time. Let me open it back up again. Stats for nerds. It says I'm getting 46.1 megabits per second. And that may be my router kind of trying to manage uh, dispersing that data. But still, if you're above 25, you can get UHD content. Um, four megabits is DVD quality. Uh, five megabits per second is HD quality. And then, like I said, Ultra HD, like the biggest jits you can get, is somewhere up in the ballpark of 25 megabits per second. So I don't think we're getting some, some, sometimes some of the things that we pay for. And it's very frustrating. I don't know why they will not allow 
those applications to receive the pure data. You're paying for it. If you go over data, you know, go ahead and make sure your settings, everything is allowed by your phone. There's no data saving settings or nothing like that. There's nothing like that turned on on my phone uh, to justify why I'm getting such a low uh, data. So, because you can see it just blow up in Wi-Fi. It should do the same uh, over from a provider. So, anyway, make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so that you get notified on the next conspiracy theory video that I do because there's a big question mark behind this. Why is this happening? Is it not the provider? Is it no matter if you change your data saver on your phone, your phone is still regulating this stuff? I mean, why would it do that? And Verizon swears they're not doing anything. So please leave comments below uh, stating your speeds, the network you're on, and kind of regional. Where do you live? What state do you live in? North, south, east, west of that state or something. So we can get an idea if if it's regional, if it's a big city thing, a small town thing, uh, what other services are available thing, who knows. See ya.